Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the lecture series on natural language processing. In the last lectures, we have actually seen about the three building blocks of NLP, that is tokenization, stop words, removal, and stemming. We also saw about how we could transform our text sentences into vector form so as to enable them, uh, so as to enable them as uh, passing input into the machine learning models. And uh, we also saw about like different methods to do so, like count vectorize, like bag of words model, which is basically implemented by count vectorizer in sklearn and tfidf approach. Also, I told you that we won't require to know the uh, mathematics behind it because already these libraries are available for us to convert the text into vector format. So what we were doing today is that we would have a revision of all of the previous concepts right from tokenization to like uh, uh, to like bag of words model and TFID approach but this time using like code. This time we'll be coding this up. So we have taken a very small task which is all about sentiment analysis. So sentiment analysis is basically finding out the mood, like whether it's a positive uh, review or a negative review. The data set we have taken is a movie data set, movie reviews data set uh, with uh, sentiments as 0 and 1, uh, where basically 0 represents a negative data set and sorry, negative sentiment and 1 represents a positive sentiment. So without wasting much of our time on this, let's get started. So I will go and fire up my Jupyter notebook. And uh, as you can see, like this is the data set that we are using with credits to the author. So it can be found on Kaggle and it's known as IMDB sentiment data set. It's a very common data set and like free to use as well. So you could try this up, like uh, you could try to do this in various forms or like experiment it as you like. So I have already imported some of the required libraries such as NumPy, Pandas and Matplotlib and also NLTK. Now what I'm required to do is that I'm required to read this data set. So I hope you're already aware how to read a data set using Pandas and Python. So it's pd.read underscore csv. So what I'm doing is I am taking something like, like I have to pass in the complete address now. So let me just pass in the address over here, like address of the data set. Okay. So once this is done, I will just like, uh, uh, give you a snapshot of the data set so we would be using data.head over here and as you can see like this is how our data set looks like we have a text column and we have a label column where label basically represents like the sentiment and zero represents a negative sentiment whereas one represents a positive sentiment and this is we have a, like a text column as well and now what we're required to do is that we're required to like uh, Get, like uh, we are required to have this label column into a variable known as y and this x into a uh, this uh, uh, text into a variable known as x so we will be separating the x and the y column for this data set uh, the same thing that we generally use in i mean in every machine learning model if you have used that if not you could actually follow the steps and uh, we are just separating the x and the y parts so x is our input and y is our output right so what we could do is x is equals to data dot i lock all rows and zeroth column zeroth column is your text and y is equal to data dot i lock all rows and first column so once this is done i would run this piece of code for you and now we have separated the x column and the y column right so i guess the size of x is if i just print x like the size of the entire data set so the size of x or the entire data set is 40,000 uh, sentiments that we do have. But 40,000 is um, like a much larger number, right? Like 40,000 is a very, very larger number because like, uh, it would take up a lot of time to pre-process this entire thing. So what I would be doing is that I would be like trimming it up, uh, trimming it up to 1,000 sentiments, 1,000 uh, sentiments for um, like uh, labels and 1,000 sentiments for text. Obviously, they have to match together, right? So what I would be doing is x is equals to x 0 to 100 and y is equals to y 0 to 1000 so it will be 1000 over here. right and i would be doing something like this and now if you see length of x you would actually see like okay x is basically 1000 so we have now got 1000 sentiments and 1000 uh, like uh, text Right, so I just trim this from 40,000 to 1,000 so as to reduce my computational time and we are not doing like a, like a complete thing over here. I'm just here to show you like how to use different kinds of like uh, tokenization, uh, different kinds of things in NLP, right? So this is just to give an idea not to perform a complete task. So that is why I have trimmed this completely. So length of X is now 1,000 and what I can do is, now let me just give you a hint of how does your text look like. So maybe I will just use print x of 4 
so as you can see like this is a normal text that you have and as you can see like there are some like html tags as well then there are some stop words and all of those kind of things so first we need to tokenize this thing then we need to remove all of these punctuation marks and stop words and this html stripping as well and then like we could actually use that pre-processed text uh, so as to pass it as an input like uh, convert this that into a like uh, text into the vector form and then pass it as an input so like i hope now the steps you have to follow is tokenization followed by stop words removal we could also do stemming over here but i prefer not to do stemming uh, because like this would actually I mean, we could have done stemming, but I prefer not to use it at this point in time. But if you like like to use stemming, you could use this as well. So maybe I should close this lecture over here with the hope that you have understood like how we'll move forward. I have just done some of the basic parts like reading the data set and like trimming the parts of the data set and giving it to X and Y like uh, sent it, like giving it to X and Y variables and uh, like telling you the steps on how to proceed further. So I will see you in the next one. Thank you.